You know, it's easy to understand why reading is so important to young minds. It helps them grow, learn, and imagine. But as seeing isn't easy, it's easy to see how that could be heartbreaking for a young kid. Well, fear not, my fellow empathists, because Seedlings Braille Books for Children in Livonia has opened a whole wonderful world of reading for kids everywhere. And they do it from the bottom of their helping hearts. It all started with Deborah Bondi and her insatiable need to help kids read. I saw your map. I am amazed. You guys, here you are in Livonia, and you're shipping Braille books all over the globe. We are. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'd never thought that when I started it. From your humble beginnings, how did this all start? I was a person who really feels like it's our job on earth to help other people, but it didn't go with who I was because I was extremely shy. And usually when you're helping people, you have to talk to them, right? Right, <laughs> so. right. Even what I do is tough. I'm kind of <laughs> shy, but it's, yeah, you sort of force yourself mm. to follow your mission. Well, I've, I heard about Braille and I thought, oh, that's perfect. I can make books in my home by myself and send them off and help people, right? So um, I took the Braille class and when I learned Braille, there were some other people there, including a, a mom of a blind child. And she mentioned that her daughter only had two books. And I thought, that's crazy. Why, you know, sighted kids have hundreds of books usually in their home and in the library and whatnot. And she only had two. And I looked into it, I found out that Braille books were very hard to get and very, very expensive, like $100 for a Hardy Boys book. For one book? For one book. And that just didn't seem right to me. Oh my gosh. So I kind of thought maybe I should try to do something about that. But I just um, thought, you know, I want to do this. I want to make it a nonprofit organization so we can keep the prices as low as possible and even give books away. Um, which is totally backwards. My dad started a company when I was little, and he actually made my first printer for this. But he said, Deb, you've got it all backwards. You're supposed to make a book for $10 and sell it for 20, not make it for 20 and sell it for 10, which is what we do. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> well, hence the name nonprofit. Yes, exactly. And now you've got how many people here working? Mm, well, we have about 10 staff and dozens and dozens of volunteers that help us keep our prices low, of course, and uh, wonderful, wonderful supporters. And but what does this do for you personally? Oh gosh, we all uh, love doing this because the, the feedback is just tremendous. I mean, we've got so many people emailing us and calling us and telling us that they're so glad that they found us, that there just isn't much available out there, and that, especially at the prices that we have. Well, thanks for what you're doing. My pleasure. It's a lot of work, I can tell. It's a lot of work. A labor of love. Yeah. yeah. Just how special is the world of reading for a kid? Well, I guess now would be the appropriate time to ask one. And Sarah Murphy is absolutely amazing. So you can read this book here in front of me. Uh-huh. Yep. Because I'm not the world's best reader, but I was hoping you could read something to me. Let's see, Charlotte's Web. Hey, that used to be my favorite. Oh. Where is Papa going with the axe? Said Fern to her mother as they were setting the table for breakfast. Out to the hog house, replied Mrs. Arable. Some pigs were born last night. You read faster than I do. Yeah. Um, some people say I can read two sentences at once, but it's pretty much one and a half. Is learning to read Braille hard? Oh my goodness, no. Oh, good, then maybe I can do it. <laughs> Heck, these kids are so smart, even little Cara Gilmore types her own Braille. So, if you were to write someone's name... Uh-huh. Oh, you, write my name, Tom. You would use that six T-O-M. It's done! <laughs> Did you write that already? Yes. I should have had you write my books because they would have been done a lot faster if you, if you did them. That's wonderful. And don't forget Caitlin Collell. She actually grew up on Ceilings Books and is now on their board of directors. What's amazing to me with these books, when I look at what you're, what you're reading, mm -hmm. it's just a blank white page. Mm -hmm. But there's a whole world in there that you see that I don't see. 
And that's one of the cool parts about being blind is that we've got a great imagination and we've developed our senses um, greatly. So that's why especially um, exposure to Braille even with our baby books is very important because we need to start developing those sensational touch skills at a very young age. So this is extremely important because not only does reading allow children to learn, it gives them a voice and it allows them to be able to master their language. And if they can't read, they can't write, and they won't be able to be successful down the road. So it's very important to get Braille materials into the hands of children across the country and around the world so that they aren't left behind, so they can continue to flourish and have the opportunity to be successful. Everyone we encountered at Seedlings had a heart of gold and a wonderful story to be told about how they're changing and enlightening young lives. They've even given away half of the half million books that they've made since 1984. So if helping kids discover the world around them is something that pulls your heartstring, get a hold of the fine folks at Seedlings Braille Books and find out how you can help. Because quite honestly, once you see what these great people are doing, you won't be able to help yourself.